This is how you make the ultimate Galakrond Shaman deck. First, you make a video about how OP Galakrond Shaman is. Then, you wait for people to complain and Blizzard to nerf it. And then, people will stop playing Shaman. And then, you start playing Shaman because no one else is expecting you to play Shaman. This 500 IQ plan is brought to you by Disguised Toast LLC, the leading creator of the best decks in Hearthstone. Patent pending. Ha, <laughs> this guy's toast. Okay, so this Shaman list is a little different from the one before. Wow, my opponent's name is French Toast. So it's regular toast versus French toast. We can probably expect them to surrender at some point. <laughs> that's a that's a joke. Please don't be offended, French people. Oh, what do we want? It's probably death rattle based, right? Earthshock or hexes will go a long way here against death. Ra it's either Highlander Rogue or Death Rattle Rogue. Or Highlander, Death Rattle, Galakron Rogue. Some kind of Rogue. Luckily, he doesn't start with coin because he's bad at the game. I start with the coin. Rogue with coin into like coin, Kappa, Lackey, Evil Miscreant is so sad. Having the coin with Spirit of the Frog too means I get a free Earth Shock or a free Invocation of Frost. So, uh, really good stuff happening to us through no abilities of our own. We're just getting a little lucky. Should have a way to kill my frog boy for the first round because it's stealth, right? Necrom Blade, eh? Necrom Blade. If he has a prep and... Ooh, Hex is good. I'm just worried I won't have a chance to uh, Hex the Apothecary before he has a way to trigger it. I can freeze him, though. That's pretty good. Perplexing. Perplexing indeed. One mana hex. Wait. Oh, right. I get a card. That's okay for, to let this die, right? I can play this and then coin, which draws me two one cost cards. I think freezing this is pretty value. I'm guaranteed the invocation of frost. My curve's a little awkward for freezing him. Basically just means um, he, I, he doesn't get an instant trigger on his Apothecary. Unless he hero powers, which is a little two more mana, and plus it protects this. So it's kind of sad that I waste one mana, but in exchange I drew three cards and it protects this to draw more cards. So it was 100% the best play. If he wants to backstab into Apothecary, it's fine. Sap. Ooh. Oh, wait, I have 10 cards. As long as I don't mill Shadow Walk, it's okay. No milling. Mutate. It's fine. Ooh, Urza Might actually works really well here. Oh, Overdraw, right? Damn. Why do I have so much cards? <laughs> Can I Zentimo here? Hmm, don't mind Zentimo. I'll definitely Overdraw. There's no world where I don't Overdraw here. Here's Zentimo. Ooh, Mountain Giant's actually kind of sick here. So he's gonna maybe play Lackey. Hopefully he doesn't have Damage Lackey. Damage Lackey here is so nice. To ping out my 4-2. Mm. I got two Hexes. Like, I got good answers to Apothecary, but not the Necrom Blade. I've invoked only once. I have Dragon Pack and Corrupt Elementalist and Galakrond. And Kronks. So, we want to pile on the pressure here. Okay, doesn't seem to... He's really on the back foot. Here. I can play a s Mountain Giant. I don't hate it. But do I love it? No, I should uh, get Dragon Pack going. As well as Galakrond. Uh, yeah, I mean, Mountain Giant, if he has Sap, it's a huge tempo loss for me. It's gonna go wide on the board. Having double 8-8 eight, eight chargers is also 
surprisingly good. Although I did mill like a couple of Invoke cards, right? Milled one shield of Galakrond. And one mutate. Yeah, that's not that bad. What's the other lackey? Summon lackey? Wow, it's the damage lackey. Do they always get damage lackey against me? Apothecary. Okay, that's fine. I guess maybe it's not fine, fine. That's actually hella nice. He's really trying to get value from his uh, Necron Blade here. Five, six worth of stats is really nice versus an eight, eight worth of stats. I think double five, six is fine, right? Eight, eight worth of stats, but card efficiency. I do like card efficiency, but I also like pressure. Having one eight eight means it can die to flick sky shift. Ah, I flick sky shift kills people anyway. Flesh shaper. The flesh shaper would be interesting here. I need one more invoke. I got four possible invoke cards in my deck. Use both his lackeys already. Might be Highlander Rogue, actually. Yeah, it's Highlander Rogue, isn't it? Actually waited until I played my Earthshock to do this. Show the walk! Mechathune? Okay, never sad to see you. Oh, Mechathoon. Is there a worldwide trade that in? No. It's just the 7-7, seven, seven, right? I guess you could Zillia accent, which is hella annoying. Life and hope. Dragon Queen, you better hope you get some really good board affecting dragons to spend. No. Ooh, man. That's a ballsy play. Oh, he gets a backstab. He does not get a backstab. Big balls, big balls. I currently have a 100% win rate for this year. Nay, for this decade. I should retire right now. Okay, let's hop into another one here. Priest, that's why we have Hex, so he can res his stupid minions into stupid frogs. Uh, do we want Shadow Galakron and Dragon Pack for pressure? This essentially activates my uh, combo. Am I trying to be board pressure-y or am I trying to be reactive? I think having Dragon Pack activated so early is kind of nice. Or should we go for card draw? And we hex him. Little column A, little column B, right? Draw cards are spared up the Frog Acolyte. Mm. I think these two I can keep. Coin Shield of Galakrond. Let's try this. Not sure if it's the right play. It's whoa! It's not quest priest, or it might be quest priest trying to th make me think it's not quest priest. Which is the biggest brain play? Fake news, quest priest. I'm on to your tricks, quest priest. I know your quest. You're just not playing the quest to make me think you're not quest, but you are quest. <laughs> yeah, I'm not stupid. Nasty little tricksies. He's on four. There's nothing he can do on four yet. On five, he can play the cow and the conniving infiltrator. Okay, I want to keep the coin so I can... Hmm. I think we can start hitting face here, right? Yeah. What if I should have kept the coin? Do if you want mass hysteria, be my guess. Mass Hysteria shouldn't completely clear my board, right? It would be pretty nice, though, for him to have Mass Hysteria. Tombs. 
Hexarino Cappuccino. Punch him in the face. What is this? If you control a secret, deal six damage. Shamans don't run secrets, last I checked. Do I mutate this? Do I have a way to kill him next turn? Not yet, Toast. Save mutate for your spirit of the ribbit. Does he have mass hysteria? Well, if he has mass hysteria, it's still RNG whether or not it works right. Wow, he actually tried to save it. What a greedy boy. Oh no, that's bad. No, 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 no. This was for us. Oh, come. Oh, every attack went perfect for him. Yeah, that's unfortunate. But that's a really good draw. Because I can punch him in the face next turn. I also get double 8 8s. Which is surprisingly good. I'm going to evolve this. I want to kill him soon. 4 8 untargetable. That's good. He has a dead frog to res right now. So all his resurrect cards are really bad. He played his Karat Defender and hoped that I would overextend. And even if I did, he had to rely on a really lucky Mass Hysteria to almost clear the board. This guy's ballsy. He's got big balls. But because of my near-perfect draw, I can maybe punish him for having such big balls. Toast, what do you say? We're doing this because it forces him to play um, Mass Hysteria. He needs to play either Mass Hysteria or Plague of Death. If he plays Plague of Death, he's just dead. If he plays Mass Hysteria, he has four mana to work with. Also, Mass Hysteria is not guaranteed to clear either. Oh! Good thing I got old reliable Kronk. Kronk gives the bunk. Kronk gives the bunk. So this is why I like this Shaman list. It's not as aggro as the last one, but it runs Hex, which hard counters Quest Priest. And as well as Earthshock, which also counters Rogue. So you're countering two of the most popular decks. You run Witch's Brew, which counters Hunter and Aggro Sh Warrior. So you kind of just do everything. All right, 100% win rate for the decade. We're kicking off 2020 perfectly. Hey, lights out.